Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for March 14th through 20th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Virgo, you're a little bit of a star of the show this week. We do have a full moon in your sign occurring on the 18th of March. So towards the end of the week there. And uh, this is a beautiful energy. So if you're on any kind of manifestation journey, make sure to let your intentions go. Trust and have faith that the universe already has all of your needs being met energetically in the background. And then stay open and receptive to anything coming to fruition. Okay. Um, but this energy, this full moon brings about a sense of completion. Okay. It's a great opportunity to let things go, to embrace your inner self. Okay. To find some healing, release any kind of blocks, worries, doubts, and fears that have been standing in your way to get some in some um, inner peace. Okay. But you might actually be feeling a real big shift in the week ahead as well. Okay. Especially since we have Pluto in alignment with that full moon, but you might be doing a little bit of soul searching and some deeper contemplation. Perhaps you're even stepping into alignment with your soul's purpose. Now, this is very interesting. This is about the fourth time in all of the weekly readings. I've had this particular card come out. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this card. So there's a reason. The big healing element that is coming in here this week with this energy is all about forgiveness, healing, letting go, coming into some sort of balance and alignment with yourself, with those around you, with your energy. So there may actually be something in your week ahead where maybe you are reconciling some differences with a person. Perhaps you're getting some closure. Now, whether you actually get back together with this person or remain friends or partners or whatever, that's another thing entirely. But sometimes we do need to come together to see if there's any hope of being on the same page. And if not, we let things go in a positive way with love and light. And so you could certainly be coming into alignment with these energies within yourself and releasing anything. Uh, you're coming to terms with some things, okay? But I also feel here because we do have St. Patrick's Day this week as well on the 17th, and it's usually a very positive, light-filled, joyful day, right? The world turns green, everyone pretends they're Irish for the day, um, and so there may be something, uh, maybe you get together with a friend or a family member or something that you haven't seen for a while, or maybe you and your work colleagues say, you know what, we don't ever go out together. Let's go out and clink a glass of green beer and have some fun. So you could just be bringing things back together and going out and enjoying yourself in the week ahead here as well. We've got card number 37, numerological guidance for you with the timeout card. So you may, uh, you know, in keeping with your energy here, Virgo, okay, you might be keeping to yourself a little bit in the week ahead, okay, tapping into your own sign, okay, with that hermit card, and, you know, maybe you are doing some soul searching, perhaps the, your world is really, really busy at the moment, and you do need to have a quiet place to contemplate things, to think things, to mull things over, to even, you know, of course, do that, that soul searching, and, you know, or even think about what it is that you want. What are your goals, your dreams? Okay, so there may be something there where a timeout may really be needed for you. And it can benefit you, right? It can certainly benefit you. So uh, I think here you might be seeking out some quiet time for yourself in the week ahead. Now, the flip side of that, Virgo, okay, is you solitary creatures, sometimes you, okay, is that you've been spending too much time alone with that timeout card. And now is the time to come out of your shell. Now is your time to get out and to have some fun, go out with your friends, see your family, okay, and to, uh, you know, engage with the world around you, okay? Sometimes, you know, um, hey, I, I get it, you know, Virgo, I am, I am literally 50% introvert, 50% extrovert. I will happily live in my little bat cave for three weeks and not go out and see anyone. I would be perfectly happy. I got a lot of things to do and uh, I'm not really, uh, not really bothered about it either way. But then I also have the extrovert side where if I'm really in the mood, I will go out there and be very social and be very engaging. But I can take either one or I can leave either one. So you could have been in this energy for a while now where you have been a little bit solitary and spirits trying to coax you out of your bat cave, okay? 
So we've got the Six of Swords here, okay, moving forward. All right, what else do we have? The Magician, very nice, okay, use all this magic around you. And we also have the Chariot card, beautiful energy, wow. Talk about one, two, three, punch, okay? Spirit's really trying to get you going, get you moving. We also have the Five of Coins in reverse, thank God. Okay, the Five of Coins is a challenging card no matter how you look at it. The Five of Coins in reverse is a little bit better. Still a little bit challenging, but a little bit better there. What else do we have here? The Two of Swords. And I'll put that one there. All right, so wow, fabulous, fabulous energy that is coming in. Oh, and look at you hiding at the bottom of your deck. All right, the Hermit card, here you are, large and in charge, all right? Uh, the Hermit card shows this quiet, deep contemplation, okay? So uh, I do feel here, since this card is hiding at the bottom of the deck, and we do have that Time Out card, are you spending too much time alone right now? Is it time to come out of your shell? Or have you not spent enough time alone right now, okay? You might need to go into your bat cave, whichever one. But the Hermit energy is your energy, that is your card Virgo okay so you might be sitting in some quiet contemplation your intuition in the week ahead is going to be freaking phenomenal okay use that to your greatest advantage okay use your inner wisdom your inner strength to make some decisions to get going to um, you know, really focus on your goals, your dreams, right? I think some of you are really getting some epiphany moment in the week ahead here as well, okay? But you're certainly very much in your own energy and in your own control and power here. And it's really wonderful to see. I love it when we get your own card coming out in your own reading. It's like that one-two punch that's right there for you. But we do have the Six of Swords, okay? So you might be making some plans in the beginning of the week. Perhaps you are making some plans to travel somewhere. We do have two cards here that do potentially indicate some travel. The Chariot card and the Six of Swords can both be, they're both about moving forward, but they can indicate travel or movement of some sort. But the Six of Swords is really about intellectual energy here, okay? Uh, your train of thought, your communication. The Six of Swords is where we've been struggling with an issue, whether it's internal or external, whether it's just with you, with your environment, or maybe with a person. And this is where we make amends. This is where we reconcile. This is where we find a compromise. We find a peaceful resolution to something. And this allows us to leave something behind that has been a struggle or a challenge and move forward and find some peace, find some calm. So this could certainly be the energy within you where you are leaving troubling energy behind, old thoughts, feelings, and you name it, okay? And you're looking forward to something lighter and brighter. You're finding some inner peace, inner calm. But this can represent, uh, you know, a person or another situation in your life where you are finding a way past a problem, past a struggle. The Six of Swords is also a rite of passage. It's also a card of protection, so you may be very just very much just protected by spirit right now. You may be feeling your spirit angels and guides very close to you, um, but you may also be in a position at some point in the week where you actually have to give some guidance and protection to someone else there as well. Maybe you need to help someone through a problem or a struggle. And of course, you are the wide old, wise old sage there with the hermit card here, Virgo. And uh, you might just have some inner wisdom or a sense of calm okay, that you can instill towards somebody else. But whatever that is, it's certainly moving forward, something a little bit uh, more calm and peaceful than something that you've been dealing with or something that presents itself. And it's like, oh yeah, I know how to deal with that. We got that in the bag, no problem. But you do have the magician here. So this is a big reminder from spirit to be mindful of your thoughts and your feelings. We're constantly manifesting things into our lives. And you have all of the tools and resources, the knowledge that you need to manifest your goals, your dreams, your desires, okay? And so spirit just wants you to be very aware of your thoughts and your feelings, okay? They go hand in hand in regards to manifestation. And so it's really just this kind of little bit of a heads up, especially after the Six of Swords, okay? The Six of Swords can be you getting worried or frustrated or anything like that about, you know, about no doors opening for you, about your money, your situation. 
And instead of uh, being stuck in that energy, the magician comes out here with that six of swords to replace those negative thoughts or feelings with ones of peace, enlightenment, and positivity instead, okay? And so be very mindful of your, your thoughts and energy. You can't control every thought or every feeling necessarily of every single day, but when you do find yourself going through those periods of frustration or, um, you know, or irritation or anything like that, just be mindful, bring yourself back to center and replace those challenging energies with positive ones. But the magician shows that you may actually really need to buckle down and focus on something this week as well. Okay, you might need some information. You might need to have a conversation. Okay, you might need to do a little bit of research. Whatever this means for you with this magician card, it does give you a laser focus to find the answers, to find the solutions that you need. Okay, so that you can make a wise decision. Maybe you've got a big choice to make. We do have the two of swords. Okay, so you might actually have a choice to make about something. All right, and that magician shows that you have all of the tools and resources at your disposal or the ability to find them with ease, okay? We've got the chariot card coming out here as well. Now, this is Cancerian energy here. I love the chariot. The chariot is great. It shows that you are large and in charge. The chariot moves forward towards your destiny, towards victory and success, to overcome obstacles and challenges by your own hand, by your own energy, by your own drive and determination, your positive ways of thinking, your vision moves you forward. And this is what we've got here. So we've got a lot of moving forward energy here, Virgo, okay? So really think about what it is that you want to achieve this week and you shall find it, okay? Or you shall at least find your pathway to get it. All right, so um, victory and success is certainly yours for the taking. Now, of course, with the chariot card, um, with the chariot card there, it shows you're in perfect alignment, okay, for one. All right, so your masculine and your feminine are both very much in alignment. You're open and ready to receive, but you're also ready to take charge and take some action. Your physical and your spiritual are also in alignment here, okay? So it's where your spiritual world and your physical world come into harmony and things are starting to happen for you and again it's by your own actions by your own energy that you get that going the chariot card is one filled with confidence and virility okay so i think here if you've been on a down patch okay in the last little bit or you've had this lack of confidence or you've been a little bit uncertain about something here i think here you are really figuring things out in the week ahead now i do also have to say here with the chariot card and the six of swords i already touched on it once already that perhaps you are making some travel plans all right it could be just a trip down the street okay maybe you got to drive you know 20 minutes to go and see some friends for a drink or something like that okay or you could be making some bigger bolder moves perhaps you're considering some sort of trip overseas and you may have been fraught with difficulties so far um you know pandemic restrictions and all of that thing and maybe now those doors are magically opening for you restrictions are being lifted all over the place okay and we're entering in the endemic phase rather than a pandemic so things are getting a little bit easier for you so things may just be really coming into alignment for you and maybe you can go on that big trip that you've been planning for a while this can also represent perhaps money has been a factor in any kind of movement, travel, or change, or anything that you've wanted to do, and things are looking up for you, things are improving. So you could um, have a little bit of luck in the week ahead, especially as far as money is involved. Okay, maybe someone uh, can come to your aid, come to your rescue in some way uh, with that Six of Swords, right? Maybe someone is uh, helping you out a little bit. Okay, so, but whatever it is, there's certainly this wonderful energy that's coming in here. Very exciting energy, actually, here, uh, Virgo. So with, whether you, you're dealing with something spiritual, something emotional, okay, something mental processes, okay, or something in your physical world, you are moving forward. You're finding the answers and solutions, and things are really starting to head in the right direction for you. Your advice from spirit here. We do have the five of coins in reverse, not going to lie, challenging energy. Okay, five of coins is always a challenging energy, but this can certainly be a reminder from spirit that you've been in an energy of lack. You haven't had this of not enough. 
not enough information, not enough money, not enough anything, right? This lack mentality, even though there's been possibilities and opportunities that are there, should you take a, a different approach? So your advice from spirit here is to manifest from abundance, never from lack, to change your way of thinking to abundance, okay, to positive uh, positivity, okay, to be open and receptive to new ways of doing things, new information, all of these things. And remember, we've got the magician here as well, reminding you of the same thing, to be mindful of your thoughts and your feelings. Spirit's trying to give you encouragement here that things are improving for you, things are getting better, but you need to be open to doing things a little bit differently, perhaps for some advice, okay, or for help as well okay don't be afraid to ask for some help and assistance because quite often when we've got the five of coins in the upright this person is out here they're poor they're begging for money they're freezing cold in a blizzard and there's this cathedral here with this beautiful light and this represents help and assistance but they're not looking for it it can be one of stubbornness right it's like I'm stubborn I don't want to ask for help sometimes you need to Okay, so uh, this is certainly Spirit's advice to you here is to let go of those um, anything negative, okay, to focus on the positive, focus on the solution, be open to a different way of doing things, and don't be afraid to ask someone for help, whether it's knowledge or maybe money, maybe someone can help you with your finances a little bit, okay, because I also have to say here, I also have to say here someone on a very mundane level here, okay, maybe you are upgrading your vehicle, Okay, instead of some slow little jalopy here with the six of swords, perhaps you've got your sights set on something a little bit better because the chariot can quite often represent a vehicle as well as can the six of swords. All right, so think of something that chugs along slow as a little rowboat and now you're getting something with a little bit of power, something that's a little bit lighter and brighter. You may, may or may not have had the money to buy that, okay, or things may have been too expensive, but maybe there's something uh, that's opening up for you now. You might get some good news, perhaps a loan. All right, maybe you didn't want to have a loan, but maybe now you're like, okay, maybe I have to. Or maybe you couldn't, maybe you got turned down for a loan before, but maybe somebody, if you ask, may actually co-sign for you, okay? Because the hermit card that's over there can certainly, yes, represent your energy, but it can represent somebody that's around you, someone older and wiser, this wide old, wise old sage, okay? Someone who may have some really good advice for you, or maybe someone that can give you a helping hand. So, you know, if you've got, uh, you want to, you don't want a car loan, but let's say, you know, your car is breaking down. All right. And now it's like, okay, my answer there is to get a new one. Maybe I can't afford it or you get turned down for a car loan. Perhaps you have someone that can co-sign for you, or maybe there's a personal loan that you can get. Okay. Help is available, whatever that happens to be for you. Okay. Um, but this is certainly one of victory and success with that chariot card. Actually, all of these are all of these super duper positive energies that's coming in. Just this little heads up there for you your blessings that are headed your way, the two of swords. So if you've been a little bit indecisive about something, I think you're going to get the clarity that you need. Your intuition is certainly showing you the way. I also think you're on a period of discovery here as well. Sometimes the two of swords, you might be at a crossroads. There may be some indecision here. You might be doubting your own ability to make the right choice and the right decision for yourself, or there could be something that you've been missing, right? Got the blinders on there somewhere. All right. And it's not necessarily intentional, but sometimes we aren't open to seeing the possibilities that are in front of us. So your blessing here is your ability to make a decision, to see things clearly, your intuition is giving you guidance, information, and answers. And I think you're going to make a really good decision in the week ahead. Whatever that happens to be for you, you're finding some answers and you're finding your way forward. Your overall outcome of the week, we've got the Ace of Swords. Nice. Ultimate clarity, a sense of purpose, a sense of knowing exactly where you are, what you want to say, and when you want to say it. This is ultimate positivity in your way of thinking, your communication. There might be some new conversations that come in. This this fresh burst of um, of clarity that comes in here. The hand of fate intervenes, interestingly enough. Okay, the ace of swords. The aces are always a result of manifestation. So whether this is just this ultimate clarity, okay, you're shedding any kind of negativity and you're embracing 
this deep inner knowledge and this deep inner knowing. Um, this can be with this Ace of Swords, okay, this can be you using that sword, okay, to detach any old energy and here is a fresh start. The Aces are always something new or something improved, okay, always bring in a little bit of luck there as well. So conversations could just go your way, okay, a shift in your way of thinking certainly goes your way. The answers can certainly come in here as well, reconciliation, a fresh start, improvements, whether this is internal or external, beautiful, okay, love it, because this does bring in this energy of a little bit of victory, okay, a little bit of, oh, I'm so happy, okay, so certainly this victory, sort of victory, sort of truth and honesty, uh, communication, all of these things, all of these things are going your way, replacing indecision with clarity, okay, having a clear knowing of good sense of direction, all right, all of those answers, everything just going your way there with that ace of swords, okay, so watch out for those epiphanies, but you might also get, um, you might also get uh, some intuitive help there along the way, something coming in through your crown chakra to help you along your journey, along your path forward. So not so bad, not too shabby. Okay, so um, I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to close out your reading with a couple last cards here. We've got some angel wishes cards. I also have some moon magic cards that are coming out here as well. And these are actually, oh, three of those. Okay, sure. Um, these are actually very powerful affirmations that you can say uh, certainly around the moon time. And uh, they are very helpful. A lot of people say, oh yeah, you know, use positive affirmations. And then sometimes you're kind of stuck there going, well, I don't know what to say, you know, or I'm not sure if my affirmations and whatever are working. So these ones just help you along your journey just a little bit. But let's see what the angels have to say first. Your inner strength can and will move mountains. Yes, Uri Bob. Okay, use that chariot energy to your biggest and best advantage there. We also have your dream is a message from your loved ones. And with the full moon energy coming in, okay, you might be feeling a little bit emotional, but your dreams, you may have some uh, very interesting dreams. So pay attention to those. The signs you are receiving are messages from your angels. Pay very close attention to sign symbols and synchronicities, especially uh, with that magician card coming out there, and especially since this moon is in your sign. So your moon energies, this one has come out a few times too, I've got to say. All right, there is your moon. I accept and create more flow and pleasure in my life. There is a super duper positive affirmation for you. Say it in the morning, say it in the bathroom mirror, sing it in the shower, stare into a candle, however that works for you. There is your next card. I am open and responsive to the abundance of the universe. Yes say that, repeat it. I'll see if, I don't know if that's going to focus for you. Hopefully it does. Take a screenshot of that and uh, stick that on your phone. Same with this one. I don't know if that's going to get close enough to focus for you, but hopefully it does. And use those affirmations there for you, especially with this magician energy. It's a very magical time for you guys, okay? I'm going to leave that there for you, Virgo. I really hope there was something here that did resonate with you in some way. It may have been something small. Maybe it was something big. But if there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have a fantastic week. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.